One very important consideration when ready for injection molding is the required tool life. I'm Cameron Moore, the Director of Overseas Manufacturing at Fictive. Living in China and working with manufacturers for over 13 years, I've found that different types of mold construction and mold materials used determine the different mold lifetime and associated costs and lead times. In this episode, we want to fill you in on how you can get more quality and life out of your tools. At Fictive, we offer three types of tooling, and each type has different mold lives. The first type is rapid tooling, which can be made by either aluminum or soft steel inserts. It's best for prototyping because they offer the fastest possible lead time for the tooling, and typically the mold life is around 10,000 shots. Tooling costs are typically lower for rapid tooling, but the unit price tends to be higher. The second type is low volume or bridge tooling. These tools are made from medium hardness P20 or NAK80 steel and are suited for 100,000 shots. These types of tools strike a solid balance between fast tooling manufacturing lead times and production quality parts. Lastly, we offer high volume production tooling. These tools are made from hardened H13 steel or 420 stainless steel. These tools have a mold life of 250,000 to 1 million shops, sometimes more. Production tool has harder steel material and typically have multi-cavities, which means the production time is longer to machine and therefore the costs are also higher and the lead time for the tooling is the longest. But what is achieved is minimizing the part pricing. What mold life exactly means is how many parts are guaranteed by the factory to produce off of a given tool. The two tool halves are aligned through mold fitting and good and proper alignment and sharp edges of the tool are needed for a good part quality. Softer tool materials such as aluminum wear faster than harder materials such as steel. So aluminum tool lives are much less than steel tool lives. Also harder grades of plastic such as glass filled nylon wear faster than softer grades of plastic, such as polypropylene. One trade secret is you can actually extend your mold life by doing proper tooling maintenance. Another option is to refurbish tooling. This can be done by slightly shimming the edges so that the edges are made crisp again. The refurbishment gives a new lot on tool life, but it is a diminishing return. Once the guaranteed mold life is finished from your tool, open communication between yourself and the molder is key to determine if you can actually get more parts off of your tool. Our goal at Fictive is to support our customers for their production needs, whether it's in the early design stages or going into mass production. Our account executive team and expert tooling manufacturing engineering team together is here to help guide you to determine which type of tooling best meets your needs. If you have other questions about injection molding or challenges you'd like for me to take on, please list them in the comments here below and I will look to answer them myself.